week or yesterday, as I was saying, Canadians were shocked to find out they are being governed by an NDP Liberal coalition government, an alliance of high tax, high spend, and extreme ideology proponents. But Mr. Speaker, what Canadians don't know are what are the details of this agreement. We saw a press release yesterday, but no actual details. Is there a signed agreement between the Liberals and the NDP, and will they make it public? Yes or no? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, and it was clear in the last election what Canadians wanted as a priority. Uh, action on growing the economy, uh, expanding the middle class and making sure that people can join, uh, making sure that we have affordable uh, child care, that we expand health care services. Uh, and all of these things are at the core of what, when we came to power six months ago, we said we wanted to work with other parties on. Now, I know because I was there when the Conservatives were in a minority government, they didn't work with other parties. It's an unusual concept for them. But there's the opportunity that they have today to work collaboratively in Parliament to get things done. That's our objective. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. Mr. Speaker, there is a signed agreement somewhere that they are hiding. Part of the deal struck by the Liberals and NDP creates a new executive committee of the government. This secret committee is made up of NDP and Liberal members, and it excludes the opposition. That is an executive committee of government. So who is on that executive committee? And again, will the Liberals and the NDP make this agreement public for Canadians and for this House? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, there is every opportunity for us to all work together, and I think that that is exactly the spirit that was expected after the last election. The Canadians wanted to see stability. They wanted to see results. They wanted to see us focus on getting things done. And as the member uh, will well know, uh, we continue to have worked together on a great number of issues, and that opportunity will continue in the future. Uh, but what this means is that Parliament can have stability, that yes, we have differences, and some of those differences are very big, but that doesn't mean that we should put our partisan differences in front of getting the business of the nation done, and that's what this deal is about. The Honourable Leader of the Official Opposition. High tax, high spend and higher cost for everything is all that this NDP Liberal government will be delivering for Canadians. This backroom secret deal will cost Canadians an additional $200 billion and that's not even counting the April 1st tax hike that is coming. Risky social experiments are not what Canadians need. They need their rent paid, they need food in their fridge, they need gas in their tanks. Will the Prime Minister tell Canadians how much this nightmare of a socialist secret deal will cost Canadians? The Honourable Government House Leader. Well, Mr. Speaker, I was there for three uh, minority governments with Stephen Harper, and what we saw was a complete railroading of the opposition, no interest in working with other parties. And not only that, we saw the most stagnant, dead economic growth the country had seen over that period of time uh, that we had seen uh, historically. And what we've seen now uh, is Canada leading, leading in economic growth, leading in job creation, leading in climate action. And what we're focused on, Mr. Speaker, is working with any party that is willing to work with us to get the business of the nation done. So I would suggest to the Conservatives, there's an opportunity, break from their usual mold, which is attack, attack, attack. Hello,